Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today this is a preset tutorial talking about uh, mirror modifier in geometry nodes. Uh, I want to talk about it because it's um, mostly for daily modeling. So you probably won't see it in regular tutorial making all these kind of motion graphics or uh, visual effects. So let's start. So here we're in Blender. Firstly, I want to discuss um, the workflow which leads the design of this mirror modifier in geometry nodes. And uh, this is my own workflow. Uh, you may not agree with it. You may follow a completely different ideology. But uh, here's uh, my preferred workflow and uh, why I designed the mirror modifier in geometry nodes in such a way. So here I have a cubic house and I have a uh, window. Uh, it contains a window frame. It also contains a window glass. And uh, I want to instance this window to the other parts of the wall as well. So you may just uh, select them and the duplicate. Then you create a whole different copy of objects and then you just copy paste it to other parts. But then if you modify this window, then it will not update to the other parts. So this is not really ideal. Uh, another way you can do is you Alt D to duplicate that. So it's kind of a linked copy. So that you, if you um, uh, modify one part, it will update the other parts. But the, the other issue is that if you elaborate this model, for example, I add a single bar uh, in the middle part of this window, then I have to duplicate the other parts as well to the other parts. Then it becomes kind of very annoying. So obviously people are not doing this regularly. Uh, what's more common is that you put everything into a collection. For example, I have this uh, window uh, mirror frame and mirror glass into this window collection and uh, delete everything. And I also put this middle bar into the collection and now I instance the thing so that I have an empty instance of this window. If I just duplicate this empty, I have 100% the same copy of it so that I can place that to the other places. What's more important if I just change one, I can change another so it's being updated very successfully. Okay, so this is very nice. Okay. So this is the basic uh, workflow and ideology of it. And here people may say that uh, this is so basic, why do I discuss that? And how is that relevant to your mirror modifier? Uh, the reason is that you actually will realize that by following this workflow, it would be better if you always model around the world origin. Otherwise, if in a collection, you uh, translate the, the object to uh, elsewhere, beyond the wood origin, then your instance will have an origin away as well. Okay, And then if you rotate that or scale that, everything becomes very difficult to control. Of course, there are ways to solve that. For example, if you go to the collection panel, you can offset the instance offset. But it's kind of a menu thing and it's not a procedural it's just um, chaotic. And why do you do that in the first place? It will be just easy if you uh, model everything around the world origin. So now we've recognized the importance to model around the world origin. Uh, next, let's talk about how is that relevant to the mirror modifier. Uh, right now, I want to model two bars instead of one bar. And I want to mirror that uh, around the center of this window. And if I directly add a mirror modifier, it will not mirror it itself because it's always mirroring based on its object origin. Okay, So there are two ways that you can mirror that. One way is that you go to the edit mode and then move that around the world origin. Okay, uh, But this is not very parametrical unless you control that in the move. And if you go outside this 
edit mode, you will lose that forever. And I do not really know how far is my objects around the the object origin. Unless I go to the island and look for all these kind of parameters, which is very... I don't know what he's talking about. Whatever. Okay. Um, so the other ways to recover that is you go to the origin to geometry and then you recover that. Okay. Um, I, I just find this kind of very annoying. So another way, another more common way is you select a mirror object so that you directly mirror that. And it's not a respect to its own object origin, it's respect to the origin of your uh, mirror object. So this is a nicer way. And I, I believe this is a more common way people doing things. But there is another problem with it is that you do not actually see the relationship unless you go to all this kind of a modifier panel. So it's very possible that you have another decoration of the object uh, on this mirror and you may be accidentally mirroring other things. For example, you mirror the glass or other things. Okay. And this relationship may not be very important, but it may also be very important. Who knows? Um, your model can be very complex, containing many different objects, many different parts. And it can be very chaotic, right? So I do not really like this kind of ideology of a mirror object uh, that enforces you uh, to mirror to mirror around. Because I know that I only want to mirror based on this world origin. And the reason I select the mirror object is only because I need some reference to this world origin. So if I'm going to model everything around the world origin, is there a way to save my clicks without selecting all this kind of mirror object? Okay. And uh, this turns out to be the design of uh, my mirror modifier in geometry nodes that I do not select any custom object. It's already working based on the world origin by default. And uh, right now we can start with a cube as a table. And I want to create a four legs. So I just model a leg, a single leg, and I just scale that down. And I can add this mirror uh, modifier. Okay. And by default, it's already mirroring itself. And I just need to enable the y-axis so that I have four legs of a table, which is very kind of nice. It's kind of very simple and easy. Uh, and of course, you can deal with the other parts as well, but I'm not going to cover that. Um, also, I've implemented all this kind of bisect and flip. So for example, I have a Suzanne Monkey model. And I can add a mirror modifier. And just by rotating it, all, it's already mirroring itself. And I can do the bisect on x-axis, you can see. It's bisecting itself, and I can also flip the x-axis. Okay. Internally, it's using the Boolean modifier. Fortunately, starting from 4.2, the Boolean modifier in geometry nodes is very, very fast. So I do not worry much about the performance in this case. Uh, but there will be some flickering. It may not be obvious in this case, uh, but actually you can see that there are several lines, uh, kind of artifacts occurring. I have no way to solve that. I can only hope uh, it does not really happen uh, in your real life. And it's also very kind of delicate. Sometimes you just change the parameters a little bit. You can solve all this kind of issue. Um, or let's hope uh, book developers can implement knife tool in geometry nodes in the future very soon. But anyway, um, another very important thing is I like this uh, general method. Is it's very parametrical that I can control this kind of parameters of rotation, location, scale uh, using the parameter in this kind of object panel. So I think this is kind of very good design. Actually, this is also kind of inherited from Cinema 4D. But anyway, okay. Next, let's discuss the implementation details of this mirror modifier. Let's create a new node tree. Uh, if my slam monkey is away from its object origin, 
and uh, I just need a join geometry and a transform geometry to scale on the x-axis then it's mirroring on itself I can rotate that, I can scale that, I can transform that, everything is working fine but this is working based on its object origin and if I rotate this object as a whole this entire effect is being moved away okay. and this is not my desired design so the way we are going to solve that is that I'm going to move this origin or offset this origin to the world origin what I'm going to do here is that I need a transform geometry and it will be easier if we use the matrix and this is why this mirror modifier is only implemented since 4.2 because of this support of matrix and I'm going to take an object info I have a self object and I directly plug this transform into that so now my object is moved away from itself from its origin further and then I'm mirroring that so in this way uh, I can rotate that in the edit mode so you can see there is a mirroring and I can move that okay it's equivalent to mirroring at the wood origin but you, this object origin is still not at the center so that uh, if I rotate this Suzanne monkey everything will be rotating in a very weird way so to resolve that I need to invert back this matrix so that that uh, we recovered everything around the world origin while I retain this object origin at the center of my Sudan monkey geometry so that if I rotate that, scale that, translate that it's mirroring successfully and the rest is about duplicating all these kind of different axes y or z axis and so on and so forth and uh, as mentioned earlier in order to make all this kind of flip and uh, boolean I need uh, this mesh boolean modifier and so on and so forth okay there can be other uh, details of it but this is basically the main principle in order to duplicate all these kind of things of course it turns out to be a very big node um, but the core principle is kind of very straightforward and that's basically it uh, I'm not sure if this will be useful to you but anyway this is something I would like to share so I hope you enjoyed this video I'll probably see you next time bye bye